Hi you guys, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I thought that I would come on here and do a little pick a card reading for healing messages. And uh, it's a beautiful sunset. I think the rain is about to come in, but I thought I would do this outside because it's a beautiful evening. So we have three piles here. I just picked some stones from around me. So these are just going to be healing messages. I figured it would be perfect since we are outside in nature. All right, so go ahead and choose whichever one captivates you. So we have group number one. We have group number two. And we have group number three. So as usual, take your time. Pause the video if you would like to. Um, and whenever you're ready... The timestamps are down below. Okay, so if you chose group number one, and please excuse my nails in case they're dirty. I've been outside here. All right, so I'm just going to lay them out here first. We have Carly, She Who Frees. We have Estefania, could be saying that wrong, She Who Surrenders. We have Spiritual Quest. We have Time of New Birth. Heed your dreams, time to ground, and surrender to the flow. So we have two things that say surrender here. We have surrender to the flow, and then we also have here she who, she who surrenders. So I feel like for a lot of you, this is really beautiful because time of new birth, we have she who frees, liberation, unrestrained, and freedom. And again, we have chains, bondage, and release. I do feel like a lot of you here, um, you are rebirthing something. You're really coming into a place of rebirth, of new birth with this lily card coming through. And this is coming after a time of you liberating yourself from something or freeing yourself from something here so this is a time i feel to surrender to the flow with this ladybug here too on the on the picture so i think the strongest healing message for you right now is that you are on a, on a spiritual quest you're on a deep spiritual journey and spiritual quest here and it's about really surrendering right now to the momentum surrendering to the flow see she's by this water here as well so there's a whole lot of um feeling here of really heeding your dreams and uh, birthing into something new so if you feel right now like you're releasing something if you feel like you're really coming into a place of of freedom this is part of your spiritual quest this is part of your spiritual journey and spirit wants you to just surrender right now they want you to break the chains of the past break the chains of what has held you back um, ground yourselves as well because I feel like a lot of you, there's a need for you to come back to the earth and come back to ground yourself because you have, I feel with the heed your dreams here, there's a lot of um, manifestation of your, of your strength, of your power, of your purpose, especially with that spiritual quest card coming through here too. So there's more to this journey than you're seeing at the moment. And so surrender, release, and freedom is key for you right now. And there is going to be a new birth coming in for you with the lily here, but you have to allow it and also ground yourself in order to manifest it, okay? It's like a lot of you, I feel too, you're about to birth a new project or there's something that you're doing. So if you have a creative endeavor or if you have a project that you're doing, this is part of your spiritual quest. This is part of your journey. And I feel like with this Heed Your Dreams card here again, this is really going to be the manifestation of this in the 3D um, but time to ground yourself because sometimes when we're not fully grounded in our manifestations uh, and we're too attached to maybe our fear or we're too attached to the things of maybe the past here, there's a feeling of you just with this water, this turbulent water of freeing yourself and just uh, like, a, like a stallion in the wind. You're just having to just float away into the water here with this leaf. It's like putting yourself on this leaf and just floating away into the water. And that's what's going to be beautiful to your manifestation. So s surrender to the spiritual quest. Release any bonds of uh, the past. Surrender to the things that you've been maybe holding on to here. There's a feeling of liberation, of freedom, of roaming wild, running wild. And because of that, you're going to be really heeding your dreams in the material world. Especially if you have um, you know, a spiritual quest and journey when it comes to integrating your... 
um, you know, your life purpose with also your career or something like that is what I'm seeing here. So I hope that this helped you, group number one. Have a great um, day and I'll talk to you next time. All right, so if you chose group number two, the black stone we have here, she who questions, curiosity, destiny, and search. We have she who creates, creativity, originality, and spontaneity. We have veals parting, resilience and strength. Change is unavoidable, which I clarified actually with this too. We have do not fear the unknown. Seek the lesson and seek your destiny. So this is kind of uh, going together too with group number one a little bit. And so is group number three, I think, because a lot of us right now in the collective, we're really um, stepping into a lot of manifestation of our dreams, of our goals, especially on a spiritual journey here. So I feel like with the willow, and it's interesting because you, you chose the black stone, so this could be protection too. Um, and I feel like with this willow veals parting and change is unavoidable, do not fear the unknown. And then this card here too she who questions curiosity destiny and then here we have seek your destiny so i feel like some of you right now you're being called to really have resilience and strength because there's something about fearing the unknown there's something about fearing maybe the veils parting in your life in whatever category or whatever way and this is about um really staying strong through this because i do feel like there's a lot of lesson in this here for you with seek the lesson and so this is kind of like uh, i had picked up on too the other day with my pick a card reading it's like there's a feeling here of really having to trust spirit right now really having to not fear what's coming in for you because this is going to be uh, a beautiful time I feel of your destiny unfolding it's like I'm getting here for some of you that whatever is unfolding for you right now is part of your destiny it's part of what this change is required for you this is a number six card too so it reminds me of the past things from the past that we have to shift that we have to change and it could be that there's going to be a veal that's going to part that's going to lead you to this conclusion um and i do feel like too with this she who creates creativity originality and spontaneity this is about you being authentic to your own uh, creativity so this could be things that you're doing that you don't really trust maybe that this is going to be the right path for you maybe for example you're an artist or there's just uh, that's just an example but maybe you're doing something that's a little bit risky for you but it's part of who you are it's part of your authentic um, truth and this is actually part of your destiny here so do not fear the unknown be strong right now. Stay strong. Stay resilient because this is going to be a big lesson for you. Whatever is maybe unfolding for you, especially if it's a difficult truth. Again, this is really about the wolf here too. You're, you're, you're having to stand strong. You're having to seek the lesson. You're having to see deeper beyond what's actually happening in front of you because this is part of, uh, once again, your destiny. It's part of what's supposed to happen for you. And so whatever change this is, it's divinely guided. It's divine intervention. And you're going to come out of this in a very creative way. You're going to come out of this in a way where you're going to seek your destiny. So if you're not sure what you're doing yet in your life purpose, this is saying that you're going to um, start maybe questioning this or you're going to start pondering what you want to do and you're going to find your destiny and whatever this is that you feel fits that is where you're supposed to be led so whatever intuitive hits you have right now especially when it comes to creativity when it comes to being original when it comes to doing something spontaneous this is part of where you're supposed to be so some of you may need to hear that so i hope that this helped you group number two thank you so much for tuning in and i'll talk to you next time much love all right, so if you chose group number three, this tan stone here, we'll see what comes up for you. We have she who rises up, pearl, empower, uplift, and elevate. We have she who becomes, metamorphosis, transcend, and journey. Believe in your dreams. Hidden gift. Know that you belong. Embrace the feminine. 
and be patient. So I do feel with this rainbow here, hidden gift, there's a hidden gift in whatever's happening for you right now. Similarly to uh, group number two as well, and actually all of them, I do feel like uh, with this here, she who becomes, this is a metamorphosis for you right now. You're going through a transcendence, you're going through a journey. And I do feel too with this um, embrace the feminine. Some of you are divine feminine. Some of you have a very abundant, something about this apple here too, to me is very abundant. It's very feminine. I don't know why. Maybe it's just something that um, maybe some of you are just um, you're nurturing something or you're very nurturing yourself. So there's a hidden gift here that maybe you don't see yet, which is why it's hidden. It's like this rainbow is going to be shown to you very soon. There's something that's going to be up. Um, there's something I feel that you're rising above. See, it says here empower uplift and elevate which is kind of like this hidden gift to me too and know that you belong so i feel like a lot of you you're going to be finding this hidden gift in whatever you're going through here but it's going to be a way of, of empowering yourself i feel like a lot of you are going to be to be really moving forward on a very spiritual path and journey but there's something about you rising up so like a glow up here or you're or you're really transforming with this metamorphosis kind of like a butterfly here maybe some of you resonate with butterflies and I feel like this is going to be a total metamorphosis of you of your life of your being of your um, of your path and so with this be patient card here, this is about not rushing the process. And this could be part of it. That could be part of why we have the hidden gift here is because maybe you're trying to rush something right now. Maybe you're trying to force something or maybe you're trying to push through for something here. But there's with this know that you belong card, um, there's a feeling of you really showing your true colors and really becoming. See, it says here, she who becomes and she who rises up. So you're becoming who you need to be or you're becoming who you are meant to be and so with this believe in your dreams here too there's I don't know I'm getting a very strong message of believing in yourself with know you belong maybe this is about um, career maybe this is about love it doesn't really matter but there's something about you embracing the feminine right now and flowing with things kind of flowing and letting things naturally unfold um, because I feel it's like you're becoming somebody that you maybe never thought that you would or you're becoming somebody that you always meant to be or that you were always wanted to be. Um, and it's just about knowing that you belong, knowing that you are not overlooked, you know, is what I'm getting as well. Um, you're, be you're, you're, you're rising above into a place like if you felt like you weren't seen before or if you felt like you couldn't believe in your what you were doing or you weren't seeing the manifestation, I do feel like with this rainbow here, there's a hidden gift because a lot of you, what I'm hearing too, is that you're going to be becoming much more than you thought, um, whatever that means. And so with this, know that you belong and embrace the feminine. Some of you are meant to be really empowering uh, feminines and whatever maybe just doing things that are uplifting or you're just uplifting yourself okay so be patient right now is a message because something is about to unfold for you and it's going to be a huge metamorphosis of your own being of, of you okay so i hope that this could help you pile number three you caught the last sunset or the last bit of the sunset so take care and i'll talk to you guys next time much love